hi we have covered uh, first part of the second unit that is uh, human resources planning now as i have told in the previous classes that this there is a second part of the unit second unit and uh, that units unit is related to two things that is uh, job analysis and uh, job design so in this video we'll start out with uh, job analysis uh, from this video uh, in fact this is the first video with related to job analysis uh, here we will be talking about the basic introduction now now if you see the sequence of how we have started out um, we have started out in the first unit uh, based on a small introduction uh, means topics which cover all the introductory aspects or elements related to human resources management and there as i have uh, already told while starting out with the second unit that the second unit starts with the uh, basic aspects or the starting elements of human resources management function so the functions involved in human resources management uh, we can say start with the human resources planning now the logical sequence of human resources planning uh, relates to this topic that is job analysis now job analysis is how it is uh, related with hrp is that in hrp as you all already know or you have learned already that uh, the job which is there in the organization is matched with the people uh, based on the skills competencies and behavioral aspects which are required for by the people to perform a particular job so it's a match between the job and the people now there are two things if you look into this aspect there are two things that is uh, the job and the people factor the thing which connects these two is the skills competencies and behavioral aspects <coughs> so uh, what we are doing here in uh, hrp is about we are taking out two things that is the people part and the job part now in the first unit while we were studying i have already told you in the class that the functions related to human resources management uh, we started out in uh, various ways while talking about various uh, topics in, either in scope of hrm or in functions of hrm or uh, the other topics related to nature of hrm uh, the first thing what we took or what we what i mentioned or what you have came across in the class is that of uh, recruitment selection uh, then uh, uh, induction right and then later on the other uh, functions that is training development compensation um, and uh, so and so other aspects like uh, pay management uh, then uh, uh, organizational development organizational climate various all these things came into picture but uh, uh, when we talk about all uh, whenever we started with uh, the functions of hr we started with the recruitment now actually if you see the first thing we have started in our syllabus was hrp not recruitment why is that because you do recruitment in case there is a job you do recruitment in case there is a job and jobs arise in case organization have thus those works to perform so a work is there so a job arises now when job arises we require people to perform that job so for that what we are doing is we are planning in advance that there might be uh, 
so many types of jobs which might arise and there might be so many number of people which may require for those jobs so we do a hr resource hr planning there and uh, uh, that planning as you can see involves these two things job and the people part now before going to that people part which is actually the recruitment selection aspects we first need to look into the job so if job is there then we can think of uh, recruiting people if job is not there then there's no need for the people so we don't need to recruit people so we require we need to first look into the job factor so the first thing we started with hr planning now that hr planning can be practically started or can be practically done when you have job now when you say you have job then we can think of recruiting people that uh, uh, then we need to have one aspect that for the job you recruit people based on the skills competencies and the behavioral aspects psychological fitness with the job so how do you say what all the things required for a particular job so that we can tell that yes this person uh, carries that uh, competencies uh, carries those skills for required for the job for that first you need to study actually what the job is so for an hrp to be conducted first thing we need to understand is to have the basic detail basic idea and basic description information about the job now this basic information basic description about the job comes from one concept that we that we have we are will be uh, introducing in this class is that of job analysis so job analysis gives us the information about the job so that information of the of the job helps us helps us to do hrp human resources planning means we can plan based on the available jobs so demand is there then we need to plan about the supply factor if demand is there not there then there is no need for the planning of the supply right so first demand is the basic aspect we need to look into we need to understand we need to study so job analysis is the next logical aspect after human resources planning is to study after job analysis we will go to the people part that is the second part that is the recruitment and that we will be dealing in the third unit right so job analysis is about getting a information about a particular job now if you have job analysis if you have that information about particular job through job analysis then you'll have a better idea of planning about what kind of people are required for what kind of jobs concerned jobs so you'll be better in a better position to find right type of people at the right place so in fact uh, so in a general sense job analysis is all about gathering information right about the jobs of a particular job what are its tasks how they are carried out and what kind of uh, behavioral aspects or behavioral qualities required for to complete that job so job analysis gives you these information <coughs> so it's all about the process of answering or identifying these things and uh, telling that yes this is the job aspect and this is the behavioral qualities and this kind of uh, things can be uh, required basically required to perform the job so job the process of job analysis basically uh, involves a person to identify that information that we can call that person as job analyst so the job analyst 
does the process of analyzing a particular job in terms of what the duties of the incumbent and then nature and conditions of the work then finally what kind of qualification is required for the person to perform such duties so job analysis the job analysis is done by an analyst and that analysis performs uh, perform uh, the job analysis by gathering information about a particular job uh, trying to understand what the job is how it is to be done what should be the required outcome of that job and uh, uh, what are the qualities required for the job and uh, based on that that analyst will give a description that yes this job is this this has to be performed in this way and it, it, it this kind of qualities uh, is required to perform that job in a part in that particular way so analyst does that process by applying various techniques means analyst a job analyst uh, conducts the job analysis of getting the information about a particular job through different techniques not simply uh, uh, here the analysis does not mean that uh, uh, a person uh, 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 the analyst uh, simply uh, thinks and writes out yes this is the for this job for for example the sales job is there for the sales job uh, the person may say, say that yes that this is the work is to be done like this this work has to be done like this and you no know, just description is there and uh, a person having such kind of behavioral qualities can able to perform this job and uh, simply it doesn't happen like that you have to clearly understand the job you have now how do you understand Analy how does an analyst understands that job so that requires adopting some techniques some methods about uh, gathering the information about a particular job so there are techniques there are uh, methods of uh, conducting job analysis right Right. So job analysis is basically from that point of view uh, is a starting point for any HR activity. Now this actually is something which is conceptualized uh, way back in the 20th century somewhere in 1920s uh, itself. Uh, sorry, uh, 1920s, yes, 19 somewhere around 1920s. Uh, way back uh, at the time of uh, Frederick Taylor and mm -hmm. Ian right? so we study about the evolution of management various uh, things have revolved so these people belong to uh, scientific management area so these people actually have conceptualized the aspect that actually we need to understand what the job is then only we can say that from this job we can uh, what do you say uh, take out such kind of work means we can take out a kind of uh, performance so what is the level of performance we can draw from a particular job for that first we need to understand the job we need to study the job so these people uh, did a scientific uh, uh, way of uh, doing all these uh, things understanding or doing analyzing a particular job uh, and uh, they have provided a conceptual base of how to do like motion study and work studies they have carried out so those those were the starting points and since then uh, we can see that uh, things have kept on changing and uh, new new methods new ways of we have uh, came up but uh, whatever changes which might have happened uh, the basic the 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 thing which is fundamental to job analysis uh, has remained or has have has not changed since last 85 years it hasn't done so it is uh, the way job analysis the fundamental aspect the way job analysis is carried out is uh, but methods might have been different for that 
So what exactly job analysis is? So what is that these people have conceptualized about job analysis? See, as, as I have told initially, it, act, it, it is basically about uh, uh, doing, an informa doing an information search. So you try to uh, gather information, investigate the information, inf investigate uh, the job which is to be done. So you investigate to get a, a information from that job, right? And uh, you come out with uh, specific details about that job through that in investigation. So it is basically an uh, uh, investigation, but this investigation is in, in a uh, uh, well-programmed manner, right? in a very systematic way. So it is a detailed and systematic study wherein you uh, try to collect the necessary facts of the job that define the job that define the nature of the job that is to be done work is that is to be done and what kind of essential qualities required to perform that work and the skills right uh, that basically required qualities and skills basically required to uh, perfect uh, particular jobs so uh, this is the basic idea basic understanding about uh, what job analysis now how, and how it is related with uh, hrp so that if the uh, that was the basic idea but uh, there is we can look into a formal definition uh, formal definition given by edwin b flippo uh, according to flippo uh, job analysis is the process of uh, studying and collecting information relating to the operations and responsibilities of a specific job. So, what is being told uh, um, in overall in this uh, video is all about being put together in this definition, which reflects the same thing what I have been telling uh, since the start of the video that uh, you have to investigate the job and you have to do it in a very systematic manner and when you do that you will get the information which tells that what is the job is all about and how it is to be performed who can perform it and that needs to be described to a particular document and when you have those things then you have did the job analysis so each and every job of an organization has to be analyzed so that you can identify a right person for that job then only you can fulfill the uh, process of human resources planning right so that's it with the uh, human resources uh, sorry that's it that's it basic uh, uh, background uh, uh, basic idea related to job analysis and uh, uh, Another definition, if you look into that, reflects the same thing uh, by Robbins and uh, DiCenzo. Uh, they also tell that job analysis is the systematic exploration of activities within a job. And that's those same things, systematic study or investigation uh, of a particular job and its components. And uh, that is done through a basic technical, it is a basic technical procedure. So there is a way of doing things. So there are techniques, there are, pro it's a process. And uh, that process uh, is about identifying the, uh, what do you say, duties that needs to be done to perform that job, uh, that job. Responsibilities, those are required. Accountabilities associated with the job. So it's again the same aspects. So you have to do investigation, use a method, carry on that investigation and identify what the job is. How do you tell what the job is? The way of describing what the job is, you describe it in the form of what are the things involved, how it is to be done, what should be the result, who can do that. Or you can say who can do that is about like uh, uh, what kind of qualities are required to do that. Now that qualities are skills, competencies, 
uh, psychological uh, fix with the fitness with the job right uh, psychological you can say sometimes some jobs might involve even uh, uh, physical uh, fitness with the job also so physical fitness also with the job so both behavioral personal aspects uh, competent uh, uh, competency aspects skills levels knowledge levels required to perform a job right so the two definitions are there one is from flipo the other one is from uh, robbins and disenzo so both definitions describe the same kind of thing so job analysis is all about this. once you have this once you have this aspect then you can go for uh, hrp so based on that hrp you can start looking into the next factor that is the planning part uh, uh, sorry which is the recruitment part right so uh, so basically job analysis tries to answer all these questions so what the job why the job what is the purpose of the job right why means what's the purpose of the job what kind of uh, physical and mental activities does the worker undertake means, uh, and uh, when is the job is to be performed where is the job is to be performed how the worker has to do the job right? what qualifications are required to perform the job so basically job analysis tries to answer these questions so the answer is in the form of an information what you get through the investigation what to get through the analysis right so this is with with the basic idea of what job analysis is all about so thank you next class we'll go get into the uh, other aspects of job analysis like what are the uh, what is the process of job analysis what how job analysis is conducted the step by step process so see you in the next video till then